Hi everyone, welcome to Mathematically Inclined. Let's discuss the probability trick with the magic apple. Yes, you heard that right and yes, you saw that right. You come across this question so many times when it is asked, three dice are rolled, then what is the probability of getting the sum to be let's say 13, let's say to be 15 and if you go the traditional way that is actually start jotting down all the possible order triplets then first it takes a lot of time. Secondly, even if you are able to write, you are never sure whether what you have written is completely correct and you haven't missed out on any outcome. So, what shall we do? Well, let us ask this apple. So, I have created this apple where if you see the sum begins with 3. So the least sum that rolling of 3 dice gives you is a 3 followed by 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and goes on up till 18. You would very soon realize as to why 3 and 18 have been put at the same position. Now, we already know that total number of outcomes are always 6 cube, which is 216 when 3 dice are rolled. Now, all we need to do is fill this apple with the favorable outcomes. But before we do that, why did we select an apple? Because this shows two positions 10 and 11. If you count these numbers, these are 16 of them. And the middle point comes at two points here, 10 and 11. Thus, they have the same value. How do we start filling otherwise? You know 3. We can get the sum of 3 when all the 3 dies show up 1, 1 and 1. So, there is only one favorable outcome. Now, all you need to do is add 2 to this to get the next number which is 3. Now, add 3 to this. To get the next number which would be 6. Now add 4 to this to get the next number which is 10. Similarly add 5 that gives us 15. Now add 6 which gives us 21. The next one would be add 4 to get 25 and next add 2 to get 27. So everything else follows a pattern except for this but you can always remember it as 2 and 4 add up to give us a 6. Now once you have reached 27, please realize 11 will also have the favorable outcomes to be 27. Having done that, now the right side is just the replica of the left. Yes, now you start reducing and complete the magic apple 25, 21, 15, next 10, 6, 3 and back to 1. Remember 3 and 18 were positioned at the same place. Anyway, you know getting the sum to be 18 is possible only when each die shows 6, 6, 6. So whether you start filling this apple from your right or from your left, you just have to go halfway through and once you reach 27 then start decreasing. All you need to do is remember this apple which is very simple. Start with 1, add 2, next add 3, add 4, add 5, add 6 and then add 4 and 2 and repeat the entire thing. So whenever you come across such a question, the best thing would be to quickly create this magic apple and trust me it doesn't take more than 4-5 seconds to actually make this. Having done that, if I ask you any probability now, let's say what is the probability of getting sum of 13? You don't have to count or write anything. Sum of 13 is 21. So 21 by 216 is your answer. Wasn't that easy? Similarly, suppose the question is not that basic and it says what is the probability of getting the sum to be 12 or 15. Then you know these are mutually exclusive events. Either you will get a 12 or you would get a 13. Then in that case, all you need to do is the probability of getting the sum to be 12 
or the probability of getting the sum to be 15 gives us 25 by 216 plus 10 by 216. So, 35 by 216 is the answer. Why am I not taking the intersection? Because I cannot get the sum to be 12 and 15 simultaneously. I hope that's clear. Do let me know in the comment section below as what are the next two videos you would like to see so that I can start working on the same. I hope you enjoyed biting into this apple. If yes, then make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for many more math videos. I will see you with the next one. Until then, bye-bye.